Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Inside the Inspired. On today's episode, we're going to talk about three habits that you can use to implement into your day to day. These are three habits that have helped me take my game up, and I want to share them with you because I think they can add some value into your life. And they're not the conventional hop in a cold plunge, wake Get up after. at 4:30 in the morning. These are three practices that have created an element of organization and structure into my life. You know I'm big on themes, so let's tap into them right now. The first practice that we're going to implement in today's episode is to double down on what feels effortless. That doesn't mean sitting on the couch watching your next Netflix channel. It really means tapping into the thing that makes you feel like you're not working at all and doing more of it. So if you're a podcaster, for example, maybe you're watching other podcasters, maybe it's time to start analyzing the way that they ask questions, the way that they present themselves, the way that they hold a conversation, how are they doing their research, how do they position their laptop, there's all these different little things that you can pay attention to in whatever the practice is. Maybe it's with training. Maybe you could start to pay more attention into how the mind-muscle connection actually feels. Maybe you could start to pay more attention to your nutrition and what does it mean to track calories or single ingredient foods. Double down on the things that make it feel like you're not working. Spend more time doing that, but get into the narrow myopic element of it where you could really focus and say, how can I get that 1% better today? If you double down on what feels effortless, it won't feel like you're working and you'll be improving at an exponential rate and that compound effect can kick in very quickly. The second practice that we're going to use is to keep track of notes or quotes or thoughts and ideas that resonate with you. Every time I read a line in a book, catch a quote in a movie, hear a friend say something meaningful, I track those different elements and I keep a running list in my phone of the notes that resonate with me. And then here and there, I'll use the notes as inspiration for content that I wanna create. Having that library of content for yourself that you use allows you to cite different mental models, themes and practices on a daily basis to help you inspire yourself when you're feeling it the least. I've been known to open up books, read through until I find something meaningful and then share my thoughts on that particular sentiment with the world. And so what I do is I keep track of all these different thoughts and sentiments so I can use them to inspire and share my own ideas in the world and put my own twist on it. So find a way to develop your own notebook or tracking system for different thoughts, quotes, and sentiments that mean something to you. So the third practice that I use on a daily basis is actually a trigger. When I recognize that I least want to put in work is actually the trigger that I use to put in the work. It's taken a long time to get to that stage where I am not feeling it, I'm not in the zone, and I recognize it about myself, and I say, hey, it's actually time to level up. It's time to get my mind right, and it's time to put myself in my zone of genius so I can accomplish the thing that I want to accomplish. When I look back at moments of my life where I copped out because I wasn't feeling like it, instead of looking at my feeling as a suggestion, I say thank you for the suggestion, and instead I tap in to the best side of myself to know it's time to level up. I know that sounds a bit self-righteous, but that's not the intention. The intention is to develop a sense of self-awareness. So you could start to pay attention to the times you don't feel like putting in the work and realize I don't have to do what I feel, I have to do what I have to do. And now it's time to show up. And when you show up on the days that you least want to show up are the days that you're gonna get to meet the best side of yourself because that's the one that has the work ethic. That's the one that has the inspiration. That's the one that has the motivation. And that's the one that's gonna show up when you least want to. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you got something valuable out of this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the latest content coming your way. Once again, my name is Jonathan Cohen, and this is Inside the Inspired.